Hi everyone, this is Shashank and I'm a law student studying in the glorious capital of India and in today's video, I'm going to talk about the culpable homicide which is defined in section 299 of the Indian Penal Code 1860. So before discussing the culpable homicide, let's first discuss what is homicide. Homicide is derived from Latin term homo plus cadre, which means killing of a man or killing of a human being. We can further classify homicide in two categories, unlawful homicide and lawful homicides. Lawful homicide means all those homicides which are justified by the law. All the general exceptions of the IPC are covered under this. That is section 76 to 106, which are given in the chapter 4 of the IPC. For example, if a police officer in performance of his legal duty commits an act which causes death of some person, then that act would not be called as murder as it will fall under the general exceptions of the IPC. Second category under homicide is unlawful homicide. Unlawful homicide means all those homicides which are not justified by law. Unlawful homicide has four parts, culpable homicide, murder, rash and negligent act and suicide. If I have to divide culpable homicide even further, then I can divide it in two parts. First, culpable homicide amounting to murder and second, culpable homicide not amounting to murder. Culpable homicide is defined in section 299 and murder in section 300. If we carefully look at the definition of both, then there we can find there are a lot of similarities in both of their definitions. Still, they are different from each other. So if I have to give you an example, like there is a person A who has attacked B with a blunt knife. On the other hand, there is a person C who has attacked D with a sharp knife. So as you see in the first situation, A who has attacked B with a sharp knife. So here there is a high chances, there is a high probability of causing that with that sharp knife. As comparison to the other hand, where C has attacked D with a blunt knife. So in the second situation, it is much lower chances than the first situation that it will cause that to the D. So here we are comparing two scenarios. In the first scenario, there is a blood knife and in the second scenario, there is a sharp knife. So in both of these examples, which one is culpable homicide and which one is murder? So in order to understand culpable homicide better, I will break its definition in four main ingredients. So the first one and the most important is causing death of human. Second, intention of causing death. Third, intention to cause bodily injury likely to cause death. And the fourth one was knowledge of act likely to cause death. The first ingredient is causing death of a human being but because culpable homicide is a part of homicide so here it is very important to cause the death of a human being. The second one is intention of causing death as culpable homicide is an offense in itself then it is obvious that mens rea will be in it. That's why it's very important that there should be intention of the offender then only he is causing death of some person. Third ingredient intention of causing bodily injury. Now to inflict a bodily injury to a person with which there are chances of causing death of that person. So in that condition, this will be called as culpable homicide. So here the word likely is used means that here the probability of causing death due to that bodily injury is quite low as compared to murder. And the last ingredient is knowledge of act likely to cause death. Here also word likely is used. This means the offender has knowledge that his act can cause death but the probability of causing death due to that act will be quite low here. So in culpable homicide, the degree of intention is low and degree of probability of causing death is also low as compared to murder. So as I have told you in the previous example in which A who has attacked B with a sharp knife, so here the probability of causing death is quite low as compared to the C's case where he has attacked B with a sharp knife. So in the second case, there is high probability of causing that due to that sharp knife and that's why case of A will fall under culpable homicide and case of C will fall under murder. So yeah that's it this was culpable homicide I hope you understand what is culpable homicide now. Uh, I hope I have cleared all your doubts if you still have any doubts let me know in the comment section down below if you want to reach me out there is always a link in the description down below also and in the next video I will be talking about murder section 300. Bye bye.